Hey everybody, I'm Delight from Denver Whimsy Crochet and today I'm going to show you how to crochet with a double strand. And it's really fun to do this because you can make really fun color combinations with two different kinds of yarn or you could make just an extra thick beanie if you want to use two strands of the same color of yarn. It would be extra thick and extra warm. This is also a great technique to use if you want to make a beanie from scrap yarn and use up a lot of your little ends. So this is super fun way to use up all your little extras without wasting yarn and to uh, combine all the colors in kind of a boho fun way. So to do this, you're gonna need two skeins of yarn and they can be scraps, especially if you're just practicing. So I have actually three here. I have some red that's worsted weight, some blue that's bulky weight, and some yellow that's also worsted weight. Then you're gonna want, for, as far as crochet hooks go, because you're doubling it, it's gonna be thicker. You're gonna want a bigger crochet hook than you might normally use. So I normally would use a size I, which is 5.5 millimeters. I only remember the letters of these. I do not remember the millimeters, so sorry guys. Um, if that's what you need to know to, to know the size, <laughs> I'll do my best, but. So this is a 5.5 millimeter. That's what I normally use with worsted weight yarn if I'm just doing one strand. But because I'm gonna be doing two strands, I am gonna be using an L hook. So you can see the difference here. Pretty big difference. And then for the worsted weight one, for this worsted weight yarn, this is a lot thicker. So actually I normally use the L hook for worsted weight yarn. So I'm gonna either choose for, if I'm gonna do worsted weight, worsted weight and uh, bulky weight yarn together, I might use an M, which is nine millimeters, or even an N, which is 10 millimeters. So I'm gonna kinda decide as we go which one's gonna be the best. So that is what you need to join us today, and as usual, you'll need scissors and all that good stuff to kinda finish up your project. But uh, as usual, I have a drink with me today too, because I always like to drink something when I crochet. And this is my awesome owl mug, but I'm actually not drinking tea or coffee today. This is emergency. And I like to drink emergency in the winter time because it's, it's fall right now, it's starting to get colder, and I wanna just have, you know, that extra boost of vitamin C. So I put it in hot water, that's really good. So <laughs> that's what I am drinking today. So I hope you'll grab a drink and come crochet with me. Okay, so here we are with two strands of worsted weight yarn. Oh, I've got Sharpie on my finger. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Okay, so I've got two strands of worsted weight yarn and sometimes they get a little bit tangled up and twisted together, but I think that just makes it look cooler. So I don't worry about keeping them like always straight all the time. So it's pretty much just the same idea as crocheting with a single strand of yarn, except you're gonna use a bigger hook. So I'm gonna do my magic loop, my magic circle, sorry, to start. And if you don't know how to do this, I have another video about, about it. The link will be below this one. And I'm just gonna start out. It's a little bit awkward at first because you have to grab onto the two, but once you get going, you'll kinda. So that's how I'm kinda starting my magic circle. And then I'm just gonna go in here. And kind of go, whoops, see I lost one. So it takes a little bit of practice because you'll, you'll kind of have jumpers here. You'll have some that just jump right off your hook at first, but you sh once you get some practice, you should be able to go just as fast as you would with regular. So that's just how I would start out my beanie uh, with the magic circle with two strands. And then you just keep going and you do all of your pattern. And if you'd like a pattern for this, just check down below if you'd like a pattern to make a beanie with this. Uh, now I wanna show you also how you can do, this is two strands of worsted weight yarn, but what if we're gonna use worsted weight yarn with bulky yarn. I'm 
Then we're gonna wanna do things a little bit differently because we'll want an even bigger hook. So you can see the difference here between the worsted weight yarn and the bulky weight yarn. Like the bulky weight yarn is almost twice as thick. So I'm gonna start it the same way, but instead of using this L hook, I'm gonna bump up actually two sizes and use an N hook here. Sometimes I even use a P hook depending on what I'm doing. So you can, and of course, uh, if you're gonna use a pattern, if you have a pattern that calls for a double strand like I have posted below, you'll wanna do a gauge swatch and all the info for that is in the pattern. And that's gonna help you decide for sure which size of hook to use. So same idea here. It's again, a little bit tricky to grab onto both pieces at once. But if you practice for a little while, it won't be bad. So same thing. You just kind of crochet to start the top of the beanie just like you would with a single strand, except you've got a really big hook and some really fat yarn to grab onto. And the nice thing about it is that you will finish your beanie even faster because your hooks, your stitches are so big because your yarn is so fat. So look at that, that's only two stitches. So you can imagine once you practice this and you get really fast at it, you can make a whole beanie in an hour or less. So that is how you crochet with double strands. Uh, I wish I had better advice for you than to just practice, but I think you can do it with a little bit of practice. If you're interested in a pattern using this bulky weight and worse of weight yarn, check out down below. I have some patterns that are called the crush beanie patterns. That is what this one is that I showed you earlier. This one is a crush beanie. Oh my gosh, the camera's so close, can't even show you. This is a crush beanie pattern. And then I also have a pattern where you can use your scrap yarn, which is a similar pattern, but with more tips on how to combine the colors so that it looks really cool and boho and unique and fun. So those patterns are both down below this video. And I hope that you'll be back soon to do some more crocheting with me. Bye.